Assalamu alaikum. Uzbekistan Milli Üniversitesi Xorijiy Filologiya Fakulteti İngiliz Filologiyası Kafedrası o'qituvchisi PhD Abdullayeva Nargiza Erkinovna bugun sizlar bilan chet tillarini o'qitishning integrallashgan kursi fanidan yangi mavzuni tushuntirib o'tadi. Bu fanimiz 4-kurs uchun 8-semestr uchun mo'ljallangan. Bugungi mavzuimiz observation Keling endi mavzuyimizni ingliz tilida tushuntirishni davom ettiraman. So, what is observation? Is the action or process of carefully watching someone or something or is something that you have learned by seeing or watching something and thinking about it? So, Observation is an important part of learning how to teach. Much of what beginner teachers need to be aware of cannot be learned solely in the university class. Therefore, classroom observation presents an opportunity to see real-life teachers in real-life teaching situations. In their reflections, many of our teacher friends mention their observations and how these observations influence the way they plan and teach. Teachers are forever reflecting and making decisions, and when they see someone else in action, in as much as they are seeing someone else, they are almost simultaneously seeing themselves. This means that observation is important at every stage of a teacher's career. In this section, we will discuss the importance and value of, value of observation not only for student teachers, but for all teachers. So, let's uh, discuss some questions. What is classroom observation? Why is it important? What should observation for a beginner teacher include? What types of things should one look for while observing? So, turn by turn, we will answer to these questions. What is classroom observation? Classroom observation describes the practice of sitting in on another teacher's class to observe, learn and reflect. Various aspects of the class can be examined, such as routines, use of time, schedule, participation, teaching strategies, management strategies, learner interest, and much more. A teacher will naturally look for support on an issue that is difficult for him or her, but it's often a great method of being exposed to a new and different approach to teaching. So why is it important? Observation is important at every stage of a teacher's career. In areas of Asia, professional development has for a very long time included what is known as demonstration lessons. A master teacher who has perhaps prepared students with some new strategies invites many local teachers into their classroom to observe and following the lesson a question and answer period takes place. All of the teachers involved regardless of whether they are master teachers or beginning teachers, have the opportunity to dialogue together and learn from one another. This is a more recent trend in North America as well. Schools are now trying to create opportunities for teachers to observe other teachers in their subject area, either in their own school or in other schools. What should observation for a beginner teacher include? For a teacher at the beginning of their career, there are some general issues that the teacher would need to observe and identify. The focus would be on general pedagogic knowledge, which includes issues uh, such as classroom management, differentiation, and instructional strategies. However, with training and experience, Teachers would need to progress to focus on other issues, which can be categorized as pedagogic content knowledge. In this case, the teachers would focus on the overlap between pedagogic knowledge and content knowledge, and specifically with an interest in what takes place in an uh, SL classroom, it means second language, yeah? 
Mm -hmm. For example, it would be difficult to imagine a second language cl classroom without pay work activities. In other classes and other subjects, one may might observe group uh, work activities. However, due to the linguistic content, there would be significant differences between the interactive exercises. In other subjects, group work or pay work might be optional, but in a language classroom they are absolutely necessary. Furthermore, uh, beginner second language uh, learners require much more structure in an activity than beginners in other courses, because the structure increases the like likelihood of success. Why participate in classroom observation? Classroom observation can often help expose teachers to new methods of teaching that might not have occurred to them beforehand. It may be threatening to be subject to peer observation, since teachers might feel territorial and defensive in their classroom and protective of their resources and ideas. However, when it is done in an considerate and respectful fashion, observation can be beneficial for both the observing teacher and the teacher being observed. Below are some benefits of observation in the classroom. So, benefits for the observer. Observe new techniques, strategies, ideas and resources. Gain insight into one's own strategies and techniques. Observe student reactions from a different perspective. Help create uh, a professional learning community with the best interests of the students in mind. And of course, personal professional development and growth. Benefits for the observed one. Chance to see class through someone else's eyes chance to re-evaluate the classroom from a different pers perspective, chance to receive input, suggestions, ideas, resources from a colleague, creation of a professional learning community with the best interests of the students in mind, personal professional development and growth. What might you be looking for during observation? First of all, one of the main challenges for observation is knowing what to look for. Some teacher education programs offer checklists for observation, but it is often difficult to find specific checklists for subject areas, such as second language teaching. Some specific things that one can look for when observing include how the teacher structures an activity what the actual instructions are and whether they are given in England or the target language, if the teacher uses synonyms for those basic instructions or uses the same words and what were uh, those words that the teacher gives some visual cues to accompany those instructions. Are the instructions divided into three or four steps with a visual icon visible, uh, visible on the board? These observations can be made because you are observing a more experienced teacher of second language, second languages, or a teacher who is far more aware of what it uh, takes to structure a classroom for the success of second language learners. Okay, all of uh, the things which I wanted to explain you for this theme. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions due to this theme, you may uh, contact with me uh, through this email. Thank you so much. Bye.